Hey guys, Sergeant Mushroom here for you with another official out of the park tutorial. Today we are going to be going over the home screen's user interface, basically what all the buttons do. Now I'm not going to be going super in-depth in anything just for the sake of being able to explain what everything does. So if you are curious about something, there will be other videos on pretty much everything I'm going to talk about here. So you could go find those once they are up and uh, learn more about those things from there. So I will start over here on the left side with the base game stuff, and then we will work our way over to the perfect team on the right. So first we have the continue game button. This will boot up your most recently played game from the uh, saved games that you have. The load game button will show all of your previously played games uh, from all mode types. You have down here the delete button, which will allow you to delete any league and all its associated files from your computer if you wish to do so. The rename button will allow you to change the league's name. The favorites button will put it up here at the top where it will uh, show essentially just separate from everything else. The open folder button will take you to the league's folder uh, which will contain all of the data for the league. The restore for backup button will take the most recently backed up version of the league and import it to your current league. If you are booting up your game, you can click the run full check for correct logos, jerseys, and caps after loading league, which will essentially just alter the aesthetics to be what the game has in its base. You can click the OK button here if you want to boot up the league. Just select the league you want to play and then click it, or you could click the cancel to exit. The new standard game button will boot up a 2021 live game with modern day rosters. You could select international leagues as well, independent leagues. Uh, there's a lot of options available for those. Historical game will boot up any game that you choose a year of your selection between any year in Major League history from 1871 all the way up to 2020. Uh, you have complete rosters for all teams. Players will come along as they come. You could customize it a lot to your liking. And uh, there is more. The custom game button right here, there's a lot of really cool stuff you could do in custom games. There is, uh, you could customize a real world game, which is just your 2021 live rosters. Fictional games as well. Uh, you could set up your own league with whatever you want in it, including, of course, real teams. And you could also do historical leagues, completely customizing your world. This button allows you to take complete control of uh, your league. Clicking the advanced mode button once you learn a bit about how to set up the leagues and how the system works will give you even more options and control over your league. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do in here. The next one is quick start game. Uh, you could create quick start games in your... Whatever game you're in, you could create a quick start out of, and you can also import quick start games from other people, so you can play other people's leagues and such as well. In order to get your quick start game going, simply click the new quick start game, select the quick start you would like to boot up, enter a name for it, and then go click the create game button. Uh, now, you can also name the, I already said that, uh, you will have a description of the league down here, which will tell you essentially what the league is about. Uh, you can set a description when you set up your quick start leagues, so uh, it will just be that. If you had the previous version of Out of the Park Baseball, Out of the Park 21, you can import a game to Out of the Park 22 and continue playing it on this version or uh, from any prior version of OTP. So for Out of the Park 21, you'll be able to import Out of the Park 20 games instead. So you simply click this button, and then you can navigate your files here to find your uh, league under Out of the Park 21. The next button here is Historical Exhibition, which will play a single series against any other team or any two teams or more that you wish to uh, play against each other. So if you're curious how the 2018 Orioles would do against the 1927 Yankees and if it's even possible for them to win a single game, well, that's how you can find out. The next button down, or the first button at the bottom, which I'm also going to go over, is Settings. So this will show you all of your customized settings for Out of the Park Baseball, the interface, Miscellaneous settings, 3D and face gen, expert settings, and troubleshooting. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do from here to ultimately just uh, set your thing for yourself. Workshop Central is the next thing, which if you have the game through Steam, will allow you to bring in any quick starts and other things from the workshops, which is, of course, a totally separate thing that you can probably find more information about elsewhere. The official website will take you to the actual Out of the Park 21 website, or 
22 website, uh, the OTP Developments website. The OTP forums will take you to the official Out of the Park Baseball forums as well, which will have a lot of cool stuff there. The online manual will take you to the online manual, which is uh, essentially a very in-depth explanation about a lot of things for OTP. In my opinion, the online manual is not perfect, but it is helpful if you are looking for things and uh, can give you a good base to work with. The credits will, of course, be the credits, and uh, the Quick Join Online League will take you to online leagues that you will be able to join if you are interested in playing with other players. Now, on the right, we have Perfect Team here. If you want a registered account, whether it's for Perfect Team purposes or Challenge Mode tracking purposes, you can do it using this button. If you forgot the password to your account and you need it recovered in order to log back in, you can click the forgot password right there. Now, once you log into your team, you're going to see some new things. So, of course, you will uh, log in. If you click the Remember Me button, you will not need to log in every time you boot up the game. And then, of course, click the Login button to actually log in. Now, up here, you will have a Log Out button, which will just log you out of your Perfect Team account. You can click the Play Perfect Team account to take you into your made Perfect Team League, which will be your primary team with all of your cards on that team, your league, and pretty much everything else. So you will be able to see your achievements down here that you have this year, your primary team right here, and uh, more. Uh, back on the primary screen here, you can show traditional tournaments, which will allow you to join any type of traditional out-of-the-park uh, perfect team tournament that you like, and perfect drafts, which will take you to all the perfect drafts. You can also view some of the ones that you have more recently played and won or lost in uh, from the screen as well. That's pretty much it for this home screen. The only other things that are really here are the exit button at the bottom, which will quit the game for you. If you want to join the Discord, you could click it right there. Uh, the Twitch button right here will take you to the official Out of the Park Development's Twitch channel. The YouTube will take you to their Twitch or YouTube. Uh, the Twitter will take you to their Twitter page, and the Facebook will take you to the Facebook page. So down bottom right left is all the social media stuff. Lots of cool things there. I highly recommend you guys all get connected and join the social media if you have not. And, well, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, as I said, there will be more depth in other places for everything that I went over in this video. So if you are curious about what each thing is, not just what it does, there will be things available for you for that. So uh, I hope you guys look into this, and I hope this was helpful for all of you. I'll see you guys on the next video.